G'day guys, Shane here. I'm just with Steve, we're in southwestern Queensland and um, we're just on a 130,000 acre cattle station and it's pretty remote out here so we thought we'd take a few minutes just to show you some of the things that, that we think are essential if you're travelling around this part of the country um, especially if you're hunting and camping and doing what, what we like to do. So um, let's have a look. All right, so first off, a um, couple of things that are absolutely essential if you're traveling around in the channel country, in the mulga scrub, Gigi, Gigi country, is um, an air compressor and tire repair kit. So make sure you buy a good quality tire repair kit because it literally could save your life one day. So what we've got here is Steve's ARB repair kit. So we've used this a couple of times already. We had two stakes through our tyres yesterday, travelling around out here. And if we didn't have this, we would have been absolutely stuffed. So um, I can certainly vouch for the quality of the ARB stuff. It's, it's amazing. Um, so yeah, that gets a good workout. No point having that if you don't have a good quality compressor to go with it. So again, ARB stuff, can't go wrong. Never let us down. Um, you know, you've got to be able to pump your tyre up. Yep. Um, so yeah. All right. So this is just some of the stuff we carry around in the back of the Viking that we find useful. So firstly, we've got a shovel. All right. Pretty self-explanatory. If you've got to dig yourself out of trouble, this makes life a lot easier. Um, ammo. Definitely need plenty of ammo. Goes without saying. Peg sticker. Never know what you need a good knife for, so always make sure you carry one with you. We've got an axe here. Don't necessarily need it, but you know, if you do need it, it comes in handy. Um, and then we've just got a few essential tools that we, you know, we use to make your life a bit easier. Set of pliers, really good for pulling stakes out of your tyres. Um, makes it easier if you've got to plug your tyre, you've got to get the stake out first to be able to do it. Multi grips, same sort of deal. Tin snips, really could have used these the other night. Got a bit of wire wrapped around the axle of the Viking. Didn't have any of these. Was an absolute prick to get it out. So, mental note, always have these in the car. And Stanley knife, never know. Good to cut things with. And a good set of quality gloves. You know, we, we keep a couple of sets in here. Got some old work gloves. You know, just stops a bad situation from getting worse. And, um, protects your hands and whatnot. We also like to run with a, a good knife roll. So if we're doing a bit of butchering, we want to get some dog meat or get something for dinner. It always pays to have a good, good set of knives. Steel to keep them sharp. Um, I've got F Dick stuff. Steve likes to run with Victorinox. Both good quality, can't go wrong. Got a few different options there for whatever you need. And easy to put away. Knife roll looks after everything. You don't have to worry about it. Kicking around in the dust in the back of the Viking. So yeah, uh, another essential part is some good quality spanners. So we've got a Sid Prone spanner roll here. You know, we've used this multiple times over the trip already just to fix little bits and pieces that come loose and, and um, you know, little things that work their way off. Also got some stainless steel. Um, hooks here. Um, we used this the other day to drag some beasts away from some water hole that had died. Um, you know, when you're travelling around on these remote stations, you want to try and help the farmers out as much as you can. Show your appreciation. So you don't want to leave dead beasts at, at a water hole. You need to need to drag them away and get them out of the road. So those guys come in handy. What else have we got? Sunscreen. It's winter at the moment, it's not too bad, but still a good idea to have some sunscreen. Got a claw hammer, again, you know, just handy tool to have. We've got Steve's boots, although these never really get a workout because the guy wears pluggers no matter what. Good job, Steve. Um, over here we've got our ARB recovery kit. Um, when you're on your own, it doesn't always get a workout, but we used the strap out of that the other day to wrap around the beast's legs and drag them away, so that, that came in handy. Um, yeah. What else have we got? Always like to carry spare fuel out here. 
um, just an extra level of protection, you know, like we're, we're, we're sort of 50 something k's from the homestead here. Um, you know, we're traveling around all day. Last thing you want to do is run out of fuel in the middle of nowhere. So that's just a bit of peace of mind for us. Um, we're running a Yamaha Viking as our setup here. So you'll see in the corner here, we've got a dual battery setup. And you know, that's, that's just been awesome. It's there to run the fridge. Um, speaking of the fridge, we've got some essential supplies in here that you absolutely must have. Let's just have a little look. And of course, you've got <laughs> you've got to keep your liquids up when you're in the outback. So um, yeah, I think there's some water there somewhere. But most importantly, we've got some good Jack Daniels. You know, a couple of coldies ready to go. Um, you don't want to. You just don't want to get dehydrated out here in the outback. And uh, you know, if you've got room for some water, that's probably not a bad idea either. All right. What else we got? So a couple of little things I just like to have with me just in case. Um, we've got a UHF in the Viking, um, but I also like to carry a handheld with me just in case something goes wrong with the with the main UHF copy. Um, you know, just added peace of mind. Another item that's come in handy is a GPS handheld. Uh, we know our way around here pretty well, but you know, it, you know, you get turned around at night time chasing pigs or or just exploring through the paddocks. Always pays to have one of these to work out how to get back to where you need to be. And uh, over here we've obviously got our setup for hunting and shooting. So um, look out for another video where we go through all, all of that and how it works a bit later on. And uh, yeah, that's about it guys. So just, just our thoughts on a few important things that you should have with you if you're traveling out here in, in the outback. Um, and the closer you get to summertime and the hotter it gets out here, the more important it is to be prepared. So don't mess around. Safety first. You know, look after yourselves and, and be careful. Always let people know where you're going. And that's it. Thank you very much.